skin and into the abdomen are made, a special instrument known as an ovariectomy hook is placed in the abdomen near the area of the left kidney. The left uterine horn and then the left ovary are identified and gently elevated from the abdomen. Surgical forceps are strategically placed between the ovary and the kidney on the ovarian artery and veins. A ligature suture of an absorbable material or stainless steel clip is placed on the blood vessels to prevent bleeding. The left uterine horn is then followed down the tract to the cervix of the uterus, where the right uterine body is identified and elevated from the abdomen to trace to the right ovary. The same forceps and ligature procedure is performed as described for the other ovary. The uterine body is then elevated and surgical forceps are placed below the body of the uterus and above the cervix. Then ligature sutures or stainless steel clips are firmly attached to the uterine arteries and veins. If the patient is in estrus or pregnant, additional special care is taken to prevent any bleeding. Closure of the abdomen includes the muscular wall layer of the abdominal wall, the subcutaneous tissue, and the skin super.